The Able Sisters are three of the most underrated NPCs in the game. When you first arrive in your deserted island, the tailor shop is nowhere to be seen. You must first complete specific goals to unlock the shop. The Able Sisters have been around since the GameCube days, always allowing us to customize our clothes to our artiest potential. Uh, artiest. I don't think most creative. It's probably not a word, but it gets the message across. Oh, most artistic. Oh, okay. So how do you unlock the tailor shop? Once the player unlocks Nook's cranny, Mabel will be found inside talking to Timmy and Tommy about selling her items on the island. Experiencing this cutscene allows Mabel to set up shop in the plaza of resident services selling some of her clothing items. According to the wiki, the player must purchase 5,000 bells worth of items from her over two separate visits. On the third visit, Mabel will ask you if she should open up her shop on the island. Once you tell her yes, the next day the shop will be under construction. The following day, you'll be able... <laughs> Able to access all of her clothing items, accessories, hats, socks, shoes, the works. The shop will carry seasonal items during the holidays and events, as well as everything in every color available. Hit up the dressing room to see their stock for that day and try them on. You want to talk to Sable in the back of the store every day. Do it. She needs a friend. Talking to her every day will show her true personality. It takes seven days of talking to Sable for her to fully open up to you. Once that happens, she'll reward you with patterns that you can use to customize furniture. They're a great way to give your furniture new colors without wasting your own custom design slots. Keep talking to her once a day until she stops giving you new patterns. Or you could keep talking to her because, you know, she's your friend now. Speaking of custom designs, Make sure you go to the Nook Stop and get the Pro Design Reward. This allows you to design clothes, everything from shirts to dresses to hats. Unlocking the Able Sister Shop unlocks Kix, who will start appearing in the plaza. He sells backpacks, shoes, and other accessories you can't get anywhere else. Label will begin appearing in the plaza as well. She'll ask you to wear a specific clothing theme so she can research new designs for her new fashion line. You can look online or in the acnh.guide app to see what theme each clothing item represents. Label will give you a piece of clothing to show an example of what she's looking for. For. Successfully completing her mission will get you a tailor ticket, or two if you, you know, excelled at wearing clothing, woo, go you, which can be used to trade in for a piece of clothing worth 3,000 bells and a piece of high-end label clothing. The next day, the other color options of whatever label gives you will appear in the tailor shop. You can also keep the piece of example clothing that she gives you for the mission. These sisters have probably the most lore out of everyone and everything in Animal Crossing, including the main story itself. The three hedgehogs parents died when Mabel was incredibly young. Label disappeared to the city to work in fashion, leaving Sable to raise their youngest sister alone. In their adult life, Sable and Mabel open the tailor shop, where we as the player first meet them, known as the Able Sister Shop. Sable is always in the back working vigorously while Mabel's bright personality runs the front. In City Folk, we finally get introduced to Label, or Labelle, as she was known. Labelle helped run the high fashion store called Gracie Grace. By New Leaf, the hedgehogs seem to have settled their differences, and LaBelle works in the accessories department of the Able Sister shop. We see LaBelle again in New Horizons, but as Label. She has started her own fashion line using her past name, LaBelle, and asks the player for help to study fashion further. And that's it. <laughs> Pretty much the only lore in Animal Crossing, besides that one letter we got from a secret person in New Leaf who said they were actually the mayor, but that's all we got. Oh, Wild World mentioned something about Sable sending Tom Nook letters as younglings? She talked about how Nook was going to move to the city and hope that the cruel city didn't destroy his bubbly personality. We, uh, we all know how that went. <laughs> I'm excited to see the possibilities of what could come next in the Able Sisters. There's always a chance that Gracie could make a comeback and sell her stuff, or maybe Label expands her fashion line to other wares. What do you want to see from the Able Sisters? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!